It's beautiful outside, but kind of hot. Yes, it is hot outside. And again, the next couple of days are going to be very quiet. Plenty of sunshine. That's what we're enjoying right now. But temperatures quickly warming up already 92 degrees. A dew point not terrible at 70, but it does feel almost like 100. Our heat index at the moment at Kenner is at 98. Southeasterly winds right now very light at around 6 miles an hour. We're in the 90s across much of the area now. An 88 degree reading at Homa, 89 Galliano, and 87 degrees up in Macomb, but everyone else in the 90s. And I think today, once again, we're going to top out at about 95. We've had a few little light passing showers, especially near the coast. Had a little bit of light rain around Homa, just about to Thibodeau, out toward Morgan City as well. We've also had a little light shower in the Mississippi sound south of the Mississippi coast, and that has been about it. A 10 to 20% chance for an isolated shower is about all we're expecting during the day. Now, the Hurricane Center will issue a 1 o'clock kind of tropical advisory, and they may change this 20 to 60% uh, possibility for further development, uh, but I don't think they're going to really alter probably either of those numbers as a new computer model runs are coming in. Again, we haven't really seen any dramatic changes from the model runs this morning. This is Invest 95. Now, when an area, a tropical wave, is classified as an invest, it does not necessarily mean it is looking better organized or more certain to develop. It just means now computer model resources are being uh, devoted to forecasting this a little bit better. And that's what's happening right now with the Invest. Do you see any kind of rotation, maybe a little bit of a sign of some rotation starting to try and develop. But over the next couple of days, we're not likely to see much development any further. Reason for that is here is that tropical wave. Now we're looking into the upper parts of the atmosphere. We have this upper trough off to the west, which is creating wind shear and really preventing 95 from doing much at all. Also something to note, you see this big spin coming off of Florida right now. This is an upper level low. This is going to be a key player in the future of 95. We'll talk about that in just a second. I want to show you the models. This is the GFS. Now, this is the latest run of the GFS. What you see is, again, what we call an inverted trough. In other words, not quite that circulation just yet, but some signs of it happening. You start to see the kind of broad circulation once 95 gets into the Gulf by Saturday morning. What does it do as it moves up northward toward the coast? Not much. It just maintains itself as kind of a broad circulation and we'll likely see some stronger gusty winds at times, maybe a little bit of a uh, higher wave action along our uh, coastline and then a rainmaker as we get into Sunday and Monday. The Euro now we're waiting for the latest model run that'll come out a little bit later on this afternoon, but the model from the Euro has been indicating more of a storm kind of taking it over Florida and then eventually getting into the extreme northeastern part of the the Gulf and then possibly trying to develop as it moves quickly inland. Here's where that upper low comes into play. Both the GFS and the Euro indicate that that low is going to continue moving towards the Louisiana coastline and over the weekend kind of park itself just south of our coast. If the GFS is to be believed, the invest comes closer to us and gets underneath the wind shear. And so we have a weaker storm and that would be great for us. We need the rainfall and it would not be very organized at all. If the Euro turns out to be correct, the storm stays much farther to the east. It does not interfere or is not interfered with this, uh, this uh, wind shear. And so we have a better organized storm, which is why the GFS model closer to us unorganized rainmaker. The Euro much more over toward the Big Bend area of Florida and possibly trying to organize into a depression or storm. The next name would be Umberto. The reason for that is that we're going to see the upper trough or excuse me, the upper ridge that has been dominating our weather begin to weaken a bit, pushing off the east coast and kind of allowing that wave 95 to move northward toward the Gulf Coast. Whether it's over us or more to our east is yet to be seen. Over the next couple of days, we'll see which model turns out to be correct, whether or not the uh, 95 kind of makes more of a westward track toward the Florida Strait or more west northwest toward Florida itself. Either way, we're looking at quite a bit of rainfall across the Bahamas as well as Florida. So we'll wait and see. Our forecast for the day today, an isolated rain chance, 10 to 20 percent, and that rain chance will be about the same for tomorrow. So a relatively dry stretch as we head into Friday. Lots of sunshine. High around 95 degrees tonight. 
Any rain again, few showers we do see would be ending clear to partly cloudy skies, warm, humid with overnight lows in the 70s and 80s dry through Friday. Right now it just looks like a better rain chance and maybe some breezy conditions Saturday more so into Sunday and Monday. As a matter of fact, I changed our forecast. I don't know why it didn't change there to a 50% chance as we get into Monday. I do think maybe Sunday and Monday could be a little bit wetter, although the Euro would keep us mostly dry because it would be too far to our east as we head into Tuesday, finally returning to more of just an isolated rain chance.